Hi, my name is Charlie Price, lead designer at Liquid Entertainment on Rise of the Argonauts, and we're here today to talk about leveling up. So from the outset of Rise of the Argonauts, we really wanted to go through and capture that experience of playing a myth, really immersing the player within the Greek mythological world, which is what led us to the favor system. And the favor system is basically how Jason's going to be leveling up over the course of the game. Now there's two main ways in which Jason can go through and gain favor with the gods. One is through deeds, and the other is through dialogue. Right now we're in the middle of Mycenae, Jason's basically fighting for his life. You may notice some text that'll pop up on the lower left corner of the screen. That's a deed. And deeds function kind of like Xbox Live achievements. As you go through and acquire these things based on the cool actions that you're performing throughout the game, we're going to be recording every single cool thing that you've done, and then later you can go through and dedicate these deeds to the gods in order to go through and gain favor. The other way in which Jason's going to be able to get favor is through dialogue choices. Now, in Rise of the Argonauts, every single dialogue choice that you're going to be making is going to be aligned with one of these gods. Uh, we're making an Athena choice, for example, here. We've just gotten a little bit more favor with Athena, and we might be able to go through and buy a new aspect or god power. You'll have this whole list of deeds based on the things that you've done throughout the game. And you'll be able to go through and approach shrines like the Shrine to Ares that we have over in the corner here. And this will basically take you to, uh, to the screen where you can go through and dedicate deeds and then purchase new abilities um, that you want to get from Ares as a whole. In the upper left, you'll see all of the different deeds that Jason has at his disposal. You see the Manslayer deeds, those are the ones we just acquired when we were in combat. In addition to a bunch of other deeds that Jason's acquired over the course of his journey so far. In order to go through and gain favor with the gods, you go through and dedicate these deeds. And right now we're on Ares' screen, so any deed that we go through and dedicate is going to go through and give Jason additional favor. You'll see that meter in the lower left is slowly filling up with every single deed that we dedicate. To go through and purchase new abilities, we're going to purchase a couple real quick. First one is Shield Breaker. Uh, shield Breaker basically increases your ability to go through and do damage to shields. We're also going to go through and purchase an ability called Menace. We're going to purchase a god power here, which is called Rampage. Now, these other abilities that we just mentioned, Shield Breaker and Menace, those are passive abilities. Those will fire off automatically, and we'll see them come into play. But Rampage is an active power, it's something that Jason will actually be able to call upon in the thick of battle, and it dramatically increases Jason's power. So, we're in the second arena fight now. We're gonna go through and show you a couple of these cool abilities that Jason, that we just went through and purchased. So, we just used Rampage. Um, as I mentioned before, that basically jacks Jason's power through the roof. So as we go through and hit these guys, um, you can see we're sending them flying. Now you just saw that flare up that occurred on Jason. That means that Menace is active. And every time you go through and hit someone now with Menace, you'll see that additional flame effect that goes through and reinforces the, the fact that Jason's doing additional damage. So you'll notice that every single god will be able to go through and grant Jason 25 different types of abilities. But what we've gone out of our way to do in Rise of the Argonauts is to make sure that every single one of those abilities really matters. Every single bonus you're going to get in Rise of the Argonauts is something you're going to be able to see and feel when you're in the thick of combat. It's all about really taking the player into the experience and not reminding them that they're playing a game every single step of the way. That was an inside look at leveling up in Rise of the Argonauts. Be sure to check out the game coming out soon on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC.